What's up, YouTube? If you are a subscriber to my channel, you will realize that my videos are all over the place. And I do apologize for that, but to be honest, I'm not so much of a expert in any area that I could just make an entire channel over that. I just make videos about the things that I happen to be doing, and I just be doing all kinds of stuff. So, with this video, we're gonna be taking a look at this machine. This is a HP Z Z230. I've used this as a Zwift machine, and it's served my purpose pretty good. And I will show you guys how I upgraded this and what I did to make it work for my purposes. But once I got a 75 inch TV and I wanted to go 4K, 60 frames a second, this computer wasn't up to it. So I'll be talking about that a little bit. But first, let's take a look inside this one. So like I said, guys, this is a HP Z230. This is an old retired workstation. These were probably being sold um, around the same time that this chipset came out, which is Haswell, which is like 2014. Um, so this is probably this is probably about 10 years old. I bought this unit about four years ago, and I originally used it as a Plex server. This unit, uh, I think four years ago, I paid like $200 for it. So you could probably pick this up for really cheap. I'll um, you know, put prices on the screen of what these go for on eBay right now. But to be honest, guys, I would actually get something a little bit newer, a little bit more powerful than this for about $200. So let me show you what I got going on inside here. So like I said, this is a HP Z230 workstation. And the benefit <coughs> of buying a, a complete system like this. Guys, when I bought this, it already had an operating system and that can be like $100, $130. It has a uh, Windows 10 on it. And um, so it was already there. So I had that. What I ended up doing, I did clone this drive and I uh, cloned it onto this SSD. SSD is much faster. I only have a 120 gig, but it's, um, it's good enough for what I needed it for because I literally only use this machine for Zwift and really nothing else. I've got a bunch of other computers in my house for different purposes. Um, so that's that. So the big thing that allowed this to be able to run Zwift is this video card. This is a NVIDIA uh, GTX, not, no, shit, 760 and it doesn't use a ton of power. And with that, I was able to use the mother, the power supply that came with this machine, which is only 400 watts. So this one four pin, this four pin cable, let me see if I can get it to, come on. Oh, six pin. This six pin cable comes right off the power supply. And then I was able to buy this adapter. This is another six pin but this connects directly to a, a SATA power. So it's just like an adapter. So it's SATA power on one side and then uh, goes to six pin. So I was able to plug in both of these six pin plugs on the machine here. So that took care of my video. And guys, this is actually very good. This can run 1080p, no problem. And this can even run 1440p. And to be completely honest, it, and it can run 1440p at ultra. To be completely honest, I could run 1440p on my 75 inch TV that I got to do Zwift with. I just didn't want to because the TV is capable of 4K and I wanted to use 4K on it. So that's what I am pursuing. The processor in here is a 4790, uh, not to be confused with a 4790K. 4790K is overclockable, this one is not. Uh, but it's still a, a pretty decent uh, i7 processor with good uh, single core speed. The RAM, it's only got two, two gig sticks. So it's only four gigs of RAM here, and but you can easily upgrade that if you wanted to. So if you were to get a machine like this, you could upgrade the RAM. You can do a modest upgrade on the video card. So maybe in today's more recent technology, maybe a 1660. 
and uh, do like what I did here to, to allow you to power it. And you can, um, you know, you can upgrade the hard drive to an SSD by cloning the original. And guys, you want to buy one that has an operating system, so you can do that. But you don't even have to clone it. You can just use what comes with it if you wanted to. So this is also something I had to do. You see these two antennas coming out the back. This is a card. I don't know if you can see it down there. So right down in here, it's hard to see, but essentially guys, this is a card that I installed. One of these antennas is for Bluetooth. One is for Wi-Fi. And I actually don't use the Wi-Fi because it was just too spotty, but the idea was to use the Wi-Fi, but it was spotty, so I don't use it. But the Bluetooth is how I connect all my Bluetooth devices to the computer to run Zwift. So I will actually put prices on the screen. When I bought this, I paid $70 for this, uh, this $760, but I actually just bought a much better car for $79. So I'll put the prices on the screen on what the things cost me and like i said you guys you can build something like this i would imagine for under 300 bucks and you can at least run 1440p and that's gonna 1440p is gonna look good on i would say screens up to i would say at least 55 inches after 55 inches um you probably will wish you had a little bit more resolution. So once you get into the 60 inch, 65 inch and up, obviously uh, I've got the 75 inch and I didn't think I would want 4K until I saw it. And I thought, man, that looks so good. It's just this computer was, you know, running it at 27 frames, 24 frames, 18 frames a second. But when it was running good, it looked so good at 4K. So I'm going to try to achieve 60 frames a second with my next build but this is a pretty good build for the money so stay tuned i'm actually going to have a different video explaining my next build and how i did it in a cost effective way i'm actually going to take this cpu out of here but that's the only thing that i'm going to take is the uh, cpu well i'm going to take the bluetooth card back here and um i guess i'll take the hard drive so yeah so check with the next video if you want to see about building a machine that's more powerful than this one.